being a video editor comes with a lot of power. You can bend cities to your will, make mirror dimensions whenever you want, and explore transformative ideas to make a video with it. So stay with me to see how you can harness that superpower using Adobe After Effects. Alright, here I have imported a beautiful footage of Miami, added the Lumetri color effect, and used Cinesteel 50D Lot from the Film Emulation Pack to bring the colors to life. Now we're gonna bend the city together. When choosing your footage, keep in mind that it's much better if the footage is shot on tripod. If that's checked, the rest is a piece of cake. Just open the effects panel and add the mirror effect to your footage. Then you need to decide the angle that you want to bend the horizon to. No, no, not that one. <laughs> I go with 35 degrees to begin with. Next, we need to change the position of the bending, which I want to be closer to the center of the frame to be more visible. Now to fix this empty spot, we also need to adjust the position on the vertical line. And this is how our first bending point of the city looks like. To make another one, I'm going to duplicate the mirror effect and reset it back to default. For this one, I want the line to be perfectly vertical, like a lightsaber. So I set the angle to minus 135. And now we've got to change the position until the mirror is placed on the left side of the frame. Okay, cool. And this is the final result. Now let's practice it once more on another footage. I'll reposition it to have more of the sky in the frame. Then add the mirror effect as before. And set the angle to minus 45. Again, we need to reposition the mirror to bring it in the right area. Alright, I want to make another mirror in front of this one, so I'll duplicate the effect. Set it to minus 135 and reposition it again. If you like something psychedelic, you can leave it there, but I'm gonna drag it to the left to make an identical one on the left side. Here we go. I think the angle isn't right, so let's change it a bit. Okay, that's better. Now if you want to have more of the sky, you can reposition your footage if this scale is bigger than the comp. But if it isn't, continue watching and I'll tell you how to deal with it in the next effect. Okay, for the next one, we want to use half of our footage and fill the other half of the frame with a mirror. So I'll pre-compose the layer, double click to open it, and here we go to composition settings and reduce the vertical size of the comp to half. 1080 divided by two is 540 and done. Now I can reposition the footage to determine the half I want to be mirrored. And when I go back to the main comp, I can bring it to the bottom of the frame. Then I go to the effects panel and this time, instead of the mirror, I'll add the motion tile effect. Increase the output height until it fills the frame and check mirror edges to make the effect. You can also change the direction of the mirroring if you change the position of your footage layer like this. For the last one, I want to try the Instagram ratio. So I need the new comp, 1080 by 1350 and import my footage to begin with. Now we need to resize the footage until it almost fills half of the frame and put it at the bottom like before. Same as before, add the motion tile to the layer and increase the output height, enable the mirror edges and done. Again, you can change the direction by changing the position of the layer. And this is another way to make mirror effect with the motion tile without cropping your layer. Hope you've learned how to harness this editing superpower and until another discovery, good luck.